Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. With me in studio today is Andy Jones, and he saw a similar pattern and someone that he knew after he listened to the interview that we did here on Naked Departure Radio with Orlando King. So he is saying that Ivor King, he has a he has a twin out there somewhere because this person that he knows had the same exact behaviors. But I'm gonna let Mr. Jones explain to you what he called into the station to say. Uh, welcome into the studio, Mr. Jones, Andy Jones. Hi, guys. Good evening. Hi. Yes. Uh, I've seen the behavior pattern of the other guy into the same Ivor King over the years. I would say for a period of nearly 20 years because I've seen it for that long. Okay. Right. In all of these behaviors, what have puzzled me right, over the years, at no given time, none of the the uh, the officers on the north of the island would really check into this on a serious note. One of the things that puzzled me most, about 12 years ago, I had made a call to them because even speaking out of my mouth, I was threatened and he actually ran me with a cutlass. So I had to lock myself in the house. It was immediately around 12 o'clock. I had to lock myself in the house while he had took a hatchet and lick out the glass windows. Anyhow, the police took nearly three hours to come. I had my daughter actually outside in the hot boiling sun, parked in my Honda car. Cannot get out because of what is going on around and everybody Every boy in that neighborhood fighting for him. And, you know, when the police came after about three hours, instead of the police come in a position where they can actually deal with him, they come in a position, one come up with a red book in his hand, he come out to talk. And they had to run and leave the van. They run and leave the van and went like, to the top of the cab and call for backup. Why, why, why did they run and leave the van? Because the man got a cutlass to cut them up. He, oh, he, oh, he came after them. He came after them also. He might come after them with a cutlass. Yes. Oh, I see. They went. They called for backup, and it was a dark brown police van come from District E Police Station and a black one. And they, when those two vans came, and those guys was armed, they run him across the uh, uh, ground right? uh, for a while, and then he got away. And I could not believe that through all, all of that period, right? And he went, he went, I would say he he never, he ain't come back home and they're gone for over three months or something. So that section gone under the carpet. But these form of behaviors was going on for a very, very long time. So so you, 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 you was, yeah, you mentioned to me that he would go into hotels and like assault um, tourists. So he, and he got away with that? The guy before, yes. Oh, yes. You know, but he never detect anything. Because generally, but they will, they will, uh, but if you go, if you, if you don't detect anything, <laughs> you, what do you mean detect? What do you mean? Nobody don't check anything. But if you hurt a tourist or if you SA a tourist, yeah. they, they, they'll complain? they make a report? It, it com complains, yes, there's go, but any, and, and does anything come out of it? No. But I... I, I work as a young boy at the Animal Flower Cave, Flower Cave many years ago, and it was a young girl that got killed in the cave. A report was made, and right now, investigation is still pending. Nothing can come out of it. Mm. So this and guy, this guy, guy this guy that you are talking about, did he also commit arson like Ivor did? did he? Yeah, yes. He did. Of he course. did arson too. Yes. Oh. And I learned, I, I actually learned, what hurts me is that I learned that the very house I used to live in, in Rovio, St. Peter, was what? Was what? He, he burned down the house I used to live in as well. Oh. And left me homeless. I was homeless for many years. Oh, I see. So that's the reason why this behavior pattern and, and, you, and Okay, and he has, he, he, he did not get arrested. He's still living there. He's no, still, not there. So he's still, living, he's still alive? Yes, of course. And never. I, so, do you think he's ever committed murder? Do you think he would? Do you think he's ever oh, done? Oh yes, that? oh yes, all of that is a part of the deal. So why won't they arrest him? I, I'm just. I, 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 because 
was I, I don't know. It got some in this country it looks to me like some people will become untouchables and some people that don't need to be touched will be touched. That's just how it but how, how could an ordinary person that he doesn't sound as though he has money? Does he have money? I don't know. Man, this guy ain't got nothing. So 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 it should be easy for them to throw him in a cell. He should be, but it don't always happen this way. Over here. It don't always happen. Unless they use him for, to do things, who knows? Well, some of these things do happen because uh, some people say that, that fella got good godfather. He's a healer from a little boy coming up. If you got a good father, you could do what you like. I used to always hear that. Hmm. Right. But the behavior of Ivor King, well, one, of the, one of the things that puzzled me too, I can remember about seven or eight years ago in the house, he came home in the morning and he was explaining to us that he don't understand why uh, Paul she chose his pick fears for because he had snatched this one bag and he only had two hundred and something dollars. Oh. But I don't, and then he was up in Water Street hiding because whenever he do something, he just go up in Water Street and hide for a couple weeks till we off. Right, right. But why would you? Why would you snatch the whole purse and then argue with? What, what, why, why she making how, how, money? how much was in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he been doing. This is this is a behavior pattern that he been carrying all the time, and for some reason I don't know how this one individual gets so lucky. I have not seen it in the eighties. I can't believe right now in two thousand this still behavior is still going on. History, history, and history. Is looking into it. Yeah, his nobody. History is repeating itself. History is repeating it says, itself. Yeah. And it's like it's like the norm, you know. It's right. Like, it's like it's the norm, right? And it's puzzling me because I am looking at it at a mathematical point of view. If we got 40 houses get burned in Barbados by arsonists, right? The government prefer to build, rebuild 40 houses than to arrest one person for arson. It looks so to me. Right. Right? And people, this is another thing with the same Ivor King. We have any police report we show, we show generally, right? Uh, a yellow car in the picture because we saw it from the video camera how the guy had to run out the way, why he do what he had to do with the house, right? And when the, the police officer that was on the scene, because was the on the scene, the police officer was saying, don't worry about him. I know the car. The car is not licensed and insured. I got everything for that. I'm going to bring him in because the car is not licensed. So we have a talk with him. It is one year and five months and that person ain't talked to that body up to now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand how yeah. this business is running? Yeah. 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 I, I have a feeling that a lot of those kind of block people are working for yeah. the police just in case something needs to be working done with them, yeah. yes just in case yeah. something needs that's, to be done that's yeah how it is. they all work it together because they bought some of the same guys that are on the block with him and only recently the guys are telling me man we we know is he really there and what's not but who can protect me if if the police a uh, police holding criminals and letting them go and if they let him go now he can kill me you can't protect you can't right protect right that's the same right that's what everybody is saying that the can help protect from he because he's a serious man. We all know he's a serious man. Mm -hmm. Right? Hmm. I think he's a very, very serious man. Once he, he need money for drugs, I he got to get it. He will live for his own mother. Oh, did she bet and carry she money for the fish market? He used to right. do that. He's been doing this for years. Right. His mother, long before she get there, she did 15 years ago, she come to my car evening and tell me one of these days, anytime, they ever hold him with the foolishness that he's doing for all these years, he's going to drive off in prison. His mother used to tell, used to tell me so all the time. Mm -hmm. But no such thing, it looked like it's not going to happen because everybody in love with him. Sometimes I wonder, he's like that at night, I keep asking myself, if he is good enough to be sleeping with somebody in Red Strike, that he got the power to do what he like. Mm -hmm. in Barbados, when you sleep with people, you could do what you like, you know? Mm -hmm. That is how the behaviors is out here. Right. Right? Because another thing that I am trying to find out, because in my time, I've been to court many times. I also been to prison on remand. And I, this is something I learned. If you have a summons from the court, right, and you normally don't turn up, the day that they hold you, you don't get to go back home. Right. And, and I saw this live and direct in front of my eyes in Holton Police, in Holton Court. They was looking for him for about over seven or eight months, right? Then the way they did hold him in October, the magistrate asked him, the magistrate asked him, 
you had you had a summons where you didn't even come to court. He told the magistrate he was busy. And everybody laughed it off. That's when I said in court, this is not be assessed in the street court. Mm -hmm. This is not the court they're accustomed to have seen as a young boy growing up in Barbados. Right. And then he was able to walk and go go home because he claimed with a lawyer. The lawyer would give his sign or whatever because they're all large people. Yeah. And he is he is connected to a very high large man. So basically, he appears that he could do what he like. Yeah. So that's, to me, I am trying to figure out from everybody if the large run the country because if that is the case, it looked like I made a mistake. Because I had a very good friend in Tyrone Power that died many years ago that was trying to put me in. He looked to me like, when you're in there, you could do as you like. Yeah, but you, but that's true. I think the large does run, does run the country. It's a, yeah, you yeah, know it's, as you it's, like. a, it's a Masonic country. The people and walk and go home. Yeah, it's a Masonic. Barbados is a Masonic country. Yeah, so that is, that is, that is, that is what's going on here. She didn't, she, and the thing, the thing that hurts me a lot about the whole thing, the burning of her house did not come out of like a mystery. He already, he, it was preaching on the streets of Indian ground from three or four months before, right? That he's going to burn down the house and blow up that car and all okay. That was the talk all the time. Mm -hmm. And this talk already had went to the station about two weeks before. Right. Right. And her brother is who had come come an evening and said do not sleep in the house tonight she have an older brother he mm -hmm. come and said do no matter what happened don't sleep in the house tonight hmm. you're on your own right. when you're in barbados especially if you're a single woman yeah. you're on your so own we, the, so the burning of the house wasn't no mystery to nobody right yeah you're on your own man she had already she had reported it that he said you burned the house about two weeks before at the same station and nobody ain't come here <laughs> mm. and the house burned down and nobody responded nothing yet and what hurts me is that i listening to the youngsters recently from the block they are saying the morning that the police was on the scene and i had the police the crowbar he was saying that he was in the house how he was hiding in his house and he, he tell the fellas that if the police made two more steps towards the house, he would have stood himself. Mm. You imagine a man, a man sitting saying all these things? Mm. But the police walked forward the house with the crowbar that I gave them, and then they saw that they ain't bothering with that no more. Mm. So from that time to now, is nothing. It's nothing gonna happen. Right. But that I, is, I, the, I that thought, is the kind of I thought I thought the case was have. I thought the case was reopened. And reopen to what? I can bet my life on this, and I would say so clear on any platform, right? If she was white, that case would have been that. That's how this country is. Mm -hmm. I have lived in this world where among white people, and I see how the business is done here in Barbados. Mm -hmm. right? And not only that, not only white, you have to be somebody in society that in something some kind of position right right, right. Miss king has no position so basically whatever she has is going to go under the carpet and i would have learned from that morning too and that same morning a minutes after 10 right from being by a very good friend of mine he he was a commissioner i've learned it from that morning there will be no so-and-so investigation not when it comes to the house mm -hmm. right? oh really Yes, and then five days later, because he was pointing me a direction to another person who has a high position, any police force to go to. And when I get there, he will literally rock back and tell me it's going to be a bad investigation. He don't make the same investigator. Mm -hmm. Five days later from a fire. Mm -hmm. That's what she said to me. So, in other words, is no more turns, can you? Yeah, yeah. Any more turns. Wow. Is a roadblock. Yeah, yeah. But I know, I know. This is for a person who was taking care of the mother for all of that long time, who's sick, doing all of these things and trying their best. And I, I live and see what kind of person he is. He's the type of person from the day I, I had, I bought that car and put and put there on this on that spot. He inquired about everything, and he's the kind of person that he decided that. She's not supposed to have got this. She's not supposed to have got that. Right. You are working away, and everybody going past you, and he working. I don't understand 
if you are a person who working and you're taking your money to the gambling place, you cannot worry about what other people have. Right. So he spent most of his life trying to destroy everything that she have because right. he's gambling. Right. That's what the problem was all, all of it was like that. He's a form of a jealousy. Right? And not only that, he is a very determined fellow. People will say that, well, people that are close to her is a part to blame because if you is friends with her or anything and you don't get in conjunction and giving him money where he come and ask you for money, you, you stand a problem. Right. Because one evening he tell me that he just got broke and he coming back there and he, if he don't get some kind of stone, some money from me, he can throw some licks in me. I tell him that this is the evening that I am not going anywhere. I'm going to wait for my licks. Mm -hmm. Three days later, she house blow down. Mm -hmm. All the type of people, you can't, you can't talk about it. Okay. That's all these things is run. I'm sorry right. about that, but I always want to get some of these things off of my chest. I cannot believe that history repeat, repeat itself, that so much things can go wrong in a little country like Barbados and people can be so lucky to do so much and nobody can check them. And sometimes we got people getting locked up here in Barbados for just touching a fellow with a piece of stick and that kind yeah. of foolishness. These things ain't right. Mm-hmm. What's supposed to be checked, don't get checked. Right. And a lot of unnecessary things getting checked. We don't understand what kind of how, how we run in the country. Right. But it is what it is. And it just make sure you keep out of the way because I was one person in this country. I got arrested one or two times already for things I don't even know about. Mm -hmm. You don't know about it. And lucky for me, because I know a few people that on the morning when certain people so we tell come and see me they say my leg or the man and the, and the, and the, the sergeant they come and say man we can't find the right body man that's a charity and oh, that kind of foolish talk you yeah, lie you yeah, lie <laughs> ah, yeah man they been through all of that already so you know what you're talking about being sure that I get arrested already for charity carry 17,000 US dollars out of the house and I haven't been in a boy house I was playing pool and I lost my money like to play pool mm -hmm. that was all but the police, when they can't find the right body, just take up somebody. Right. That's how they used to do it. Right. That's how they still do it. Yeah. That's how they do it. They ain't taking up nobody who's doing the actual thing. Right. So I believe that. I be, sometimes I believe they're all working together. Yeah, it so has to be. It, it has to be that they're working together. It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, so I want to thank you. That, that for now. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling. If there's anything else that comes to your mind, you know, naked yeah, departure, right. we're always here. I'm always here. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. This is Sherry Veronica, Naked Departure Radio. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.